today the first thing I am going to do is try to get a mooncake. So I've heard Starbucks do them, so I looked up online and most of the places that were doing them that were recommended were just giving me prices for like four of them which were like $60-$70 whereas Starbucks I believe does individual ones. So I'm going to go try one, see how I get on, probably not the most authentic experience of trying a mooncake but the most local and the most reasonable I imagine, I think they're about $5. So that's going to be my first stop for today and later on I'm going to Jurong Lake Gardens in order to see all the festival there and see what that's about. So that should be fun. So I'm going to go now. See you soon. Okay, so first Starbucks, no mooncake, all sold out. So I'm going on to second Starbucks in Velocity, which is a much smaller Starbucks. I'm, I'm hoping a lot of people don't know about it. I only found out about it recently, so I might be lucky there. We'll see. Okay, so Starbucks number two had no moon cakey. So next step is get in the MRT, go to Orchard and try and find moon cake in Starbucks there. So plan C, I guess. See you there. So I went to my fourth Starbucks and found one. So I finally got one and they're really nice. They had one left out the bag so they got that for me and it was yam paste moon cake. So I'm going to try that now, see what I think of it, but it looks like it's, it's quite small, it's cute, so I'm going to give that a go and see how I get on. Marzipan or something. Just a bit peanutty. It's really good. Couldn't have too many of them. But it tastes good. Glad I tried it. So yeah, jam paste. Can recommend it. Hi, so I am back out now. Went home, had dinner with my husband and then made my way out again which is actually hard to do once you've gone home and you've settled in a little bit it's hard to actually motivate yourself to get up again but for me it is anyway so I did it I committed and I'm at Lakeside so I'm just on my way to try and find the gardens now so the gardens only have the festival on for another couple of days so I think it's just on until Sunday so there's still some performances I'm pretty late the performances started at 8 and are every half hour and the last one is at 9 9.30 9 so I'm trying to catch that one not sure what it is but whatever it is I'll go and see it and yeah I'll have a little walk around see the lantern and then go home so I won't be here all night or anything but I had a pretty good day I'm actually still delighted at the fact that I got my little mooncake so yeah so far so good so I'll see you soon
Hi guys, that's me. I've just finished my walk around the lanterns and they're all beautiful. It's really gorgeous and it's nice to visit. It's one of those places I've never even occurred to me before, never even thought of it, didn't even know it existed. Um, just because I was looking up things to do for the festival, I found out about it. But this is actually the place that before Gardens by the Bay was the big thing, this was where everyone came from mid-autumn. This was associated with mid-autumn. So it explains why they put on such a good display for it. So it's, they really do go all out, it's amazing. And it's a bit wild tonight, but I think tonight is the actual festival day. So the Friday the 13th, I think is the actual mid-autumn day to be celebrated. So there's people, everyone's like having little picnics down by the water. I've seen a few people lighting little candles in a cake or something. So there might be some symbolism to that as well. And there is, everyone's going around with the lanterns, obviously. There is the rules in a lot of places where you can't have candle lanterns. Makes sense. This is a green area and a candle could call start a fire. Um, but there was, I've seen a little girl and she had to just sit on the ground watching her little lantern burn to the ground. Around. So it makes sense why they have the rules because you know no one wants that. Just ruined her evening. But you know, her and her dad seemed happy enough sitting on the footpath. It was on the tarmac though, so it was pretty safe. Um yeah, so that was really it. I had a really lovely evening, really glad I came, even though I was really tired and was a bit lazy about leaving the house. But yeah, it was really worth it and definitely Come and visit here if you're about. I would like to visit it during the day. It would be a really beautiful place to just see how it is normally. Because tonight, as I say, it is a little bit hectic. But that's kind of the fun of the festival. So I'm going to go home now and I will see you guys on Monday again. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Bye.